joining our second webinar for updating already published data into the credential registry. Today, I will just do kind of a quick welcome and housekeeping. We'll do a brief overview of Credential Engine and who we are. We'll do an overview of how to update already published data into the registry. Um, and then I'm going to actually do a live demo of uploading um, data for updates into the bulk upload and then um, approving your data, circling back to our benchmarks, and then we'll have time at the end for Q&A, and I'll provide some next steps. So again, welcome to our second webinar of the Credential Engine webinar series. We'll be holding these webinars throughout the rest of the year, and we plan to cover a variety of topics. Some topics that you can look forward to are next will be creating learning opportunities and assessments, some application development, and even the registry assistant API publishing. And if you have any ideas that you would like for topics to be covered um, for these series, please always feel free to reach out to me and I'm always happy to consider those and add those to our topics list. And then uh, finally, I am Scarlett Jekyll, the Accounts and Publishing Coordinator for Credential Engine. And today I will be providing the overview of how to update your already published data into the credential registry. So first, let's just have a brief overview of Credential Engine and who we are and what we do. So our mission is Credential Engine is a nonprofit whose mission is to map the credential landscape with clear and consistent information, fueling the creation of resources that empower people to find the pathways that are best for them. So how we accomplish our mission is by building common infrastructure and language using our systems and yours and leveraging that common language to describe education and workforce data. We do this also through collaboration by developing policy and programming to support the credential transparency. And then we also do it through empowerment using that open source um, technology and allow access to the credential and competency information and enabling an open marketplace for customized applications and tools. So about Credential Engine, we are a nonprofit. We are community built, um, data driven and mission oriented around credential competency and pathways transparency. We, um, what we do is we advocate for the credential transparency. We do that with developing and supporting the linked open data schemas and providing that open and interoperable infrastructure and uh, providing our expertise and services for organizations implementing credential transparency. Um, a little on what we do not do, we don't collect or verify personally identifiable information. We do not issue credentials and we do not verify the issued credentials. So why does this matter? So in the United States alone, there are nearly almost a million unique credentials. And before Credential Engine, there was no common language to describe or compare the credentials and competencies. But now with the Credential Transparency Description Language, the CTDL, it is recognized as the standard language to make credentials understandable, comparable, and discoverable. So when you're getting started to publish to the registry, we just have these quick steps where you first create your account in the Credential Engine account system. You select your publishing methods and then you would submit that for approval. Once approved, you um, will gather your credential information for publishing, upload it into our tools, and then um, you would approve the data to be published to the credential registry. So let's talk about updating already published data in the credential registry. First, I'm just going to do kind of a brief overview of how you can update data via the manual editor. So the manual entry tool is in the credential publisher and it allows you to manually update um, your organization, credential, learning opportunity assessment, um, and competency information. And it's using a user friendly manual entry tool. So this uh, publishing option and making updates option is a really great way to familiarize yourself with the CTDO. And it's also really great to make just a quick update to any of your credential information um, without doing the full bulk upload. So just to make any edits to your information via the manual editor, 
you would go to the credential publisher, you would find the credential you're wanting to edit, and you would select the edit button that is below the name. And then that is going to redirect you to our manual editor here. So you'll see once you're redirected, you'll have your information all laid out in these tabs that expand. If the tabs are green, that means that information is already entered into these different tabs and the blue meaning that there hasn't been any information entered as of yet. So you could expand these tabs, make any edits you'd like to make um, and add any more information if you wanna have richer data. And then once ready to um, save that, you would just hit the save data button that is gonna be located in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. So that's just kind of a quick overview of how you can make um, some updates using the manual editor. But today I really wanted us to focus on how to update data that's already been published using our bulk upload. <laughs> so the bulk upload tool is also in the credential publisher and allows the publisher to quickly add and or update any credential information by uploading data using a user-friendly spreadsheet. Um, and you can update it via the bulk upload. So to do that, you would go to the publisher from the add new dropdown, you'll see this bulk upload option, and then that will redirect you to our bulk upload tool. Um, and once you're on the bulk upload tool, it's gonna look just like it did when you did an initial upload with the bulk upload. And very similar to our initial upload, you would go down to step two, and you're gonna see that there's two tabs at the top there. You'll see there's upload new credentials and upload um, update existing credentials. When we're wanting to make updates, we're gonna to wanna to select that second tab about updating existing credentials. And then you'll see all of your properties that are available below under step two. And I also will be going through all of this during my live demo as well. So you would select your updates and then you would come down to step three when you're ready to download all of that data you've already entered into the credential registry, but you're ready to make updates. So under step three, you'll see that there's this red text here for the download option. Below the download, you'll see um, the red, you'll have the download all credentials for your organization. You'll select that button and then that is gonna prompt your export. So all of the data you've already published will then download and you'll see it in a spreadsheet that'll look kind of like this. Um, when you expand your spreadsheet, you'll see that we have all of these um, CTIDs here. It's really important to not remove the CTID that is associated with your credential here. Um, this was generated when the data was initially entered into the registry. So leaving that CTID is gonna let our system know that once you are uploading it, it's that unique identifier and it, you're making updates so you will not duplicate any data or remove anything. So you would make your changes to your spreadsheet, add um, some more data. You can even add new credentials at this time. And then when you're ready, you would save that as a CSV file and come to step five on that bulk upload page. You're gonna choose your file. You'll see it listed out there in the file name and then you'll hit preview. And then you're gonna get kind of a quick preview of what your data from the spreadsheet looks like in a little iframe below there. And then you'll see an upload button. Um, and then after you've uploaded it, you will approve your credentials to be published. So anytime you make any updates to your credentials, you'll want to be sure to go back into your organization summary page to approve the data. So then us a credential engine will be notified of those updates. And then I will go in and I will publish them to the credential registry. And then once updated, you'll be able to see the data in the credential finder, which is our search application. And we have been working on an updated user interface for Credential Finder um, over the last year. So this is actually going to be updated here very soon. Um, and it'll be some very exciting new user-friendly uh, search for the Credential Finder. Um, and then here, I've just kind of listed out uh, the steps on how to update your existing data for um, through the bulk upload. This PowerPoint is going to be made available to you following this presentation. So this will be super helpful for you when you're going in to make those updates. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and actually show you how to go through the bulk upload and update your data via the bulk upload. So you're going to want to go to the credential publisher here. You'll log in using those same login credentials you used when setting up your account in our account system. You're going to see your organization and your credentials listed out here. On this drop down, you can change which ones you want to see, but I have it just on the organizations right now. And then to get to the bulk upload, you'll come up here to the top. You'll see this add new drop down. And from there, you're going to select bulk upload. And then that will redirect you to the bulk upload page. Again, it's going to look just like it did if you used the bulk upload before to make your initial upload. You're going to see your organization name here at the top. Um, and we are currently uploading credentials, but we have the ability to upload the assessments and learning opportunities as well. We provide that brief introduction up here. Um, and again, just kind of some quick step-by-step -step instructions on how to upload new credentials as well as update the existing credentials, which we will be doing today. Under step one, you can see your organization information. So this tab expands. If you wanna make any kind of quick updates to your organization, you could just hit this edit button here and that will direct you to the manual editor to make those changes. Um, this is also a really great place to find the CTID that is associated with your organization. So I like to point that out. It's a quick place to find that. And then when we're ready to come down and add some new properties to update our data that's already been published, we're going to come down to step two. And right now we have it under upload new credentials, but we're going to want to update existing credentials. So then here you can see that it looks just almost exactly like when you're uploading new. All of these tabs will expand, um, same as before. The required properties are always selected for you since that's part of the minimum uh, data. But you can see if you would like to make changes and um, you can see where all the different types are here. And then you can come down to recommended benchmark properties. So say when you did your first upload, you just really stuck to that minimum data policy and just it's very minimum data in there, but you really want to beef it up. So um, you can come here to the recommended benchmark properties and you'd be able to say, let's select where it's available online at, um, where it's offered by, let's add some accreditation in here. We maybe have like a data effective, some keywords a duration, subjects, um, we can even describe our audience level type. So you can just go through here and select um, different properties you want to include in your new upload, um, maybe even some industries and occupations. We even have those NAICS codes and ONET codes in here. So just like before, you can see that all of these tabs are going to expand and you can come through here. We're gonna give you that property name your description and example of how um, it should be entered in, any special data requirements, and then being able to select the fields you want to include. Um, so you just scroll through all the ones you want to add and select the ones that um, are applicable to the changes you're going to be making. So you're selected your properties and you're ready to come down to download your data. So under step three, you'll see that there is this all of this red text here, and you're going to want to select the download all credentials for credential engine is what mine says, but it'll say your organization name. That's going to load and that's going to pull all of the data you've already entered into the registry. And it's also now going to include those properties that you selected that you want to now include in your updates. So that has downloaded and I can open this file up now. And when it opens, I can expand all these fields. So you can see here we have that owned by CTID. So that's the one I pointed out under step one. Here are the CTIDs that have been associated with the credentials after they've been entered into the registry. And you can just kind of go through here and now you can see the different um, properties I selected going through there. So now we can have the accreditation, the data effective, some keywords, um, your duration, talk about the audience levels, industries, and occupations. 
So you would just go through here and make any changes to the data that's already been entered, add in information for those additional properties that you selected. And then um, once you're ready, you will save that as a CSV file. And you will come back to your bulk upload page. Um, and step four will also provide you some additional um, information on how to make updates and populate your spreadsheet. And when you're ready for the upload, you'll come here to step five. You're going to choose your file. And then from here, you'll select the file that you made your changes to. You'll see that the name is showing here and that file name. And we're going to select this blue preview button. So now that I've selected that, you can see that the data from the spreadsheet is previewing in this iframe here. So you can kind of take a quick glance at what the information looks like and make sure your cells are looking like they are correct. And then when you're ready, to save the data, you're gonna hit save this data to the publisher. Um, it's going to give you an estimated upload time. So for example, this says an estimated upload time of 24.5 seconds. That's just an estimate of when it can upload. If you have a lot of links in your spreadsheet and a lot of really rich data, it could take a little longer because our system is gonna go through and check all of those um, properties and make sure all the links are working and everything. So. When ready, you'll hit the save data to the publisher. I'm not going to do that today since we are in production, but once uploaded, you'll get a green message um, above this step six here that'll say that it was uploaded successfully. And then you'll be prompted to go to your organization summary page. Um, and under step six, you'll see a direct link to that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select to go to the organization summary page. And this page is really great to be able to see all of the information that you've entered into the registry in one place. So we made our updates to the credentials. So we would come here to this credentials tab, and then we would just go ahead and select the credentials that were updated or you added new, and you would hit the approve all selected items at the bottom. This is then going to notify the credential engine team, and I personally am the one that monitors um, these coming in, that, that you have made changes or you've entered in new credentials. So I will go in and see the approvals you've made, and then I will publish them to the registry. You'll get an email that they've been published, and then they'll be made available on the credential finder. Um, so that is just kind of a brief overview of how to upload your data and make updates to the bulk upload, as well as going over our organization summary page. Um, again, it's really important to approve your data when making any updates or uploading new data into the registry. So then I am notified and I will get it published. So I'm going to go ahead and I will hop back over to my PowerPoint presentation. And then I just quickly wanted to um, talk about our benchmark models. So I mentioned earlier that Credential Engine has the minimum data policy for the registry, and that it is based off of the Credential Transparency Description Language, the CTDL. But this pos uh, policy also identifies recommended benchmarks as models to include. So these are all kind of broken down by the different types of credentials. And we have a drop-down menu here, and you would select the credential you're wanting to describe. And then you would be able to see what uh, properties we have in the required. That minimum required data policy is always going to be showing. But then in this benchmark side, you would see all of the additional properties that you can include to describe that credential to make it a richer data set. So I will go ahead and just show you this page real quickly. And again, um, these links and everything will be made available to you following. So you'll be able to check this out for yourself. But once you're on the CTDL benchmarks page, um, at first we just kind of give you that brief overview of the minimum data policy. And then we also provide this drop down menu here. So you'll be able to select the specific credential types you're wanting to describe um, to have that richer data set with the benchmark model. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the certification and licenses benchmark model. 
And from there, now you'll be able to see that it has selected the certifications and licenses. You, we have this great printer friendly button right here to where you could print this off to have this handy. And we also have a direct link that you can either bookmark or share. So this is easy to find to describe the benchmarks. We give you that introduction and some additional information. And then on the left-hand side, you're always gonna see the required that are from the minimum required data policy. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll see the benchmarks. And these are all the different properties that um, are recommended for a richer data set for the certifications and licenses. So if you even wanted to have this page up while you're making updates in the bulk upload, so you can see here that, oh, this um, recommends having its advanced standing from and some common conditions. So you could go to that bulk upload page and expand these and kind of match the properties to your bulk upload for your download to be able to have those rich data points in there and be able to have your credentials meet the benchmark models. So these are just a really great tool to be able to have a richer data in the registry and really go past that minimum required data policy. So the next steps are just to, um, you're gonna log into the credential publisher to make updates. Again, you'll use that same login credentials you created when setting up your user account in our account system. But if you have any questions about your account or encountering any issues, please feel free to reach out to me and I'm always happy to help you through those. Um, and then when you are ready to make your updates, you can go to that bulk upload publishing tool you would select any additional properties you want to include in your updates. You can use that benchmark model to help you select those additional properties. You would export that data that's already been published, populate your spreadsheet, and then you would upload that back into the publisher with those updates. And then once you're ready for it to be published, you would approve the data to be published. I will go in, review it, and publish it, and then it'll be made available on the Credential Finder. And then if you have any questions about publishing or getting your account set up or anything, um, please always feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any of your questions, hop on a quick um, call or anything to make it as easy as possible for you. I want to be a resource for you guys as you're publishing to the credential registry. And I hope that you all have a great rest of the day. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everyone.